Where's the doctor? You better do something now. I have had enough of this. Whatever you gave her is not working. Dr. Panacek is treating a patient who is complaining of anxiety and hallucinations. I told you to give her a tranquilizer. Her mother thinks she's crazy. I want you to get a psychiatrist in here right now. But he thinks he may know the real reasons. I don't really think that this is a psychiatric problem. She's I think there's another it. answer. Let me go see her. <laughs> Kelly, what's going it's on? It's getting worse! Okay, hey, hold still. Let me just take a look here. Okay. Try not to move. Try not to move. Ah, yes, yes. And sure enough, we go back there, and on the back of her scalp, my suspicions were confirmed. I need a needle. Can you get me a small needle uh, on a syringe? Kelly, I need you to relax and don't move. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Just stay right like you are. That's perfect right there. <laughs> Okay, hold still, hold still. Very, very still. Yes. <laughs> Kelly, we have the answer to your problem. Can they do some, please? It was about probably a centimeter and a half, half an inch long. It was wiggling about, looked like a large mealy worm or, or larva, which is exactly what it was. Ew, what is that? Botfly larva. It was a botfly larva that had been growing inside the lesion in her scalp back there. Kelly, I'm sorry, but I think there's some more in there. We're going to have to get out also. Um, so I need you to continue to relax. We're going to take another look back there. I look back there, and sure enough, there's, there's movement in the other holes. Because what the petroleum jelly does is it seals over the lesion. There's, there's an air hole in there that the larva has to get oxygen, has to get air in and out of. And when you seal that over, it slowly starts suffocating inside. And eventually, it's going to want to get out and get some air, like anything that suffocating would do. But I think there's still more there. How do they get in there? Um, you get it from usually a mosquito bite, but it's not from the mosquito. The botfly holds the mosquito down and lays its eggs on the mosquito itself, and then the mosquito does all the work and delivers it to you. The botfly larva was probably a souvenir from her Costa Rican bachelorette party, since botflies in the U.S. are very rare. Got it. Oh. Kelly, I think this is all over now. I think that's the last one. I think I'm going to faint. Annie, can you take these out to the desk? We're going to send them to the lab for uh, confirmation. I told you I wasn't crazy. Most physicians in the United States go their entire professional career and never see a botfly larva infection like this. I've seen a few of them in my career, and that's what, what led me to think about it. I know this has been very stressful for all of you, most of all for you, uh, but I'm going to let you just relax here a little bit. Take your time. I'll be out at the desk completing your discharge paperwork. It'll be ready for you when you're ready to go, okay? I hope the rest of your day goes much better. Thank you, doctor. Hey, you're very welcome. Good luck with things now. You can still cancel the wedding if you want to. You don't have to go through with it.